Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Noir Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iOS 10 tutorials, and in this tutorial I'm going to cover the control center. So if you swipe from off your screen and up, at the, from the bottom of your screen, off the screen, and up, you'll get the control center. I'm going to be covering everything within the control center here, along with the uh, music uh, section of the control center. If you, if you swipe from right to left, you'll access the music section and then you can swipe back to get back but uh, the first uh, at the very top left here I'm gonna start with the airplane mode which looks just like the airplane icon there which basically uh, it's just what it sounds like if you go on an airplane it's recommended to just put your phone in airplane mode it shuts off your uh, network and your Wi-Fi and basically it almost like a did not do not disturb just like the one right here it's almost just like the do not disturb because uh, it just shuts off all your notifications as well but uh, also just to the right of it, you have your Wi-Fi. If you uh, press it, it will shut off your Wi-Fi. Then just to the right of the Wi-Fi, you have the Bluetooth, which you can turn on and off right here as well. And then this one we just covered, which is the do not disturb on off. And uh, then to, just to the right of it, we have the uh, portrait orientation lock on or off. I, I wanna say that it's uh, basically when you tilt your device vertically or horizontally, it will lock it in uh, one one position that way it doesn't rotate or change on you when you switch positions of how you're holding your phone uh, moving down we do have the brightness here as well with this sliding bar here which more than likely will adjust automatically on itself now uh, just right here we also have the airplay if you have uh, for example if you have an apple tv you can mirror your iphone device which mine is currently and then also you have airdrop uh, receiving off. I, I, mine only, mine's off. You can have it contacts only everyone. This is a really quick way, really nice way to transfer photos, files, anything you want uh, with other people with iPhones. Uh, last, and then here we have uh, just below that, we have the night shift mode, which will dim your display. I'm not sure if you guys will see this actually happen on the actual video, but uh, if you turn it on, it will uh, basically, it will put a warm, warmer color to the display. It's recommended to use this at night and it's easier on your eyes. Um, next, we have the light, the flashlight. It's a quick access button, just turns on your flashlight on your iPhone. Then we have uh, just to the right of it, we have the the timer and you can access the world clock and additional items and such. Then just to the right of that we have the um, calculator right here and then just to the right of that we have the actual camera. Now uh, each one of these buttons at the very bottom if you uh, 3D touch on these you'll actually be able to access different options such as bright light, medium light, or uh, low light and I like this because now I can actually make my light instead of just making it constant bright it will be <laughs> lower. And then uh, same with the timer here, you can set a quick timer for one hour, 20 minutes, five minutes, or one minute. But if you actually click on this icon, it will take you to the actual timer app. Uh, it will have world clock, alarms, bedtime, stopwatch, and timer as well, like that. And the, the control center can be accessed from any application, just like that, just with a simple swipe up. And then you have the calculator, which gives you 3D touching, and it gives you the last copy last result. And then the camera here, uh, take selfie, record video, record slow-mo, or take photo. But uh, just simply touching it will give you the actual camera application, just like. Now within the control center, the music section, when you are playing a song, it will actually show up here. You can pause and play it real easily, and you can also control the volume here. I'll be covering the music portion in a later tutorial. Be sure to stick around and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this video, and later. Ladies and gentlemen